WordPress powers a huge portion of the web and it will for a long time. But there are good alternatives to WordPress. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the five that I think are best. These five each have their own unique differences. And I've actually built websites with all of them. I try my best to find the tool that most fits the task. And I'd encourage you to do the same if you can. You can find a link to all five tools in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I may earn a commission if you click those links. So the first alternative is Squarespace. Squarespace is a website builder, and with website builders, everything is included out of the box. So for example, Squarespace provides you with themes and plugins. This means no more searching for a working WordPress photo gallery plugin. Squarespace already has an excellent one out of the box. This also means Squarespace isn't as customizable. For example, Squarespace doesn't have hundreds of different photo gallery plugins like WordPress does. And you can only host Squarespace websites on Squarespace servers. The upside to this is that you don't ever have to think about hosting. Squarespace just takes care of that. Overall, Squarespace is a lot easier to use than WordPress. It's like the Apple of website builders. It's intuitive and thoughtful. And also like Apple, Squarespace has great taste. They're known for excellent templates. Templates often have a recognizable look and feel with bold typography, white space, and room for photos. Beyond all of this, Squarespace has outstanding blogging, podcast hosting, e-commerce, and more. If you're looking for something easier than WordPress, I'd recommend Squarespace. Next up is Shopify. I highly recommend Shopify for e-commerce websites. So many other e-commerce builders are confusing and overwhelming, uh, including, in my opinion, WooCommerce, which is WordPress's e-commerce plugin. Shopify is not confusing and overwhelming. It's actually clear and intuitive. Notice how clean and uncluttered Shopify's product editor feels here. The key to Shopify being uncluttered is their app store. You see, Shopify's core covers typical e-commerce features, things like products and discounts. The app store covers anything that is more unusual. For example, gift wrap up sales and back in stock notifications. Of course, gift wrap up sales are only gonna be used by a small fraction of Shopify users. So that's why you wouldn't want it included in the core. Otherwise the core would get really cluttered really fast, which is exactly what happens to other e-commerce website builders. For example, this is the Volusion product editor. It's cluttered and confusing, right? Now I've just scratched the surface here. There's a lot more to Shopify than just this. There's also Shopify capital for small business loans, Shopify payments for payment processing, and the Shopify fulfillment network where they're starting to compete with Amazon on fulfillment, which is super exciting. Can't wait to see what happens there. My next alternative is Webflow. I'm no longer a freelance web designer, but if I still was, I would definitely think about moving from WordPress to Webflow. The big innovation with Webflow is their designer tool. It gives you the flexibility of front-end coding without actually requiring you to know how to code. So you can mock up anything using this editor. It gives you complete freedom. There's no template you're stuck within. On top of this designer, you can actually integrate a full CMS. The CMS lets you create content types made up of fields, for example, plain text, images, dates, colors, and even rich text. Having the designer plus the CMS is something I would have loved to have had when I was a freelance designer. This is really powerful. The other great thing is the editor interface. The editor is where your client or your team can edit the website. And as you can see, it's much more intuitive than WordPress's at times messy backend. Next up is Ghost. Like WordPress, Ghost is open source. But unlike WordPress, Ghost is explicitly focused on doing one thing really well, publishing. When WordPress started, they were focused on blogs, but over the years, WordPress has just sort of taken on more and more, and it's now a huge, fully-fledged CMS. Ghost is purposely trying to avoid this fate by just focusing on publishing. I've built a few sites with Ghost, but I've yet to launch any live yet. I just keep returning to Ghost because I know it'll be perfect when it's the right fit. It's got a lot to like. A beautiful writing interface from which you can also send newsletters from. A complete membership system so you can add a paywall and sell subscriptions to your publication. And worth noting, Ghost takes 0% of your sales which is amazing considering services like Substack are getting super popular and they take 10%. But more than anything, I just like that Ghost is clean and focused. Try Ghost if you're sick of wading through menus and complex options in WordPress. 
Doesn't this ghost interface just lower your stress levels? Like WordPress, Ghost can be installed on any host. That being said, Ghost Pro Hosting is offered by Ghost and it's probably your best option. Finally, let's talk about the Jamstack. And this last one is more for developers because using the Jamstack will require coding. The Jamstack isn't a tool, it's a whole new category of tools. Basically, the Jamstack is a new way of building websites that doesn't use server-side rendering. This leads to better performance, security, and just a better overall developer experience. I know that all sounds super abstract and boring, but in practice, it's, it's anything but. It's actually an amazing way of speeding up websites and connecting them to all kinds of new CMSs. For example, I just rewrote my website, Site Builder Report, with Jekyll and Netlify CMS. It took my site speed score from 30 to 90, and the Netlify CMS was insanely easy to add. It all just worked really well. There's an explosion of new tools within the Jamstack that you can fit together. There are tons of static site generators like Gatsby, Hugo, Jekyll, and many more. These static site generators can be combined with all kinds of new CMSs. Netlify CMS, Contentful, Sanity, and many more. It's honestly way too much to cover in this video, but you should definitely be aware of the Jamstack, especially as an alternative to WordPress. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I'm not trying to be hard on WordPress, but uh, there are good alternatives out there. It's not the answer to every website. Ideally, you should choose the tool that matches what you're trying to build, which I know it's, it's not always easy. You can find a link to all five tools in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I may earn a commission if you click those links. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your website.